So what blood test can you do that can spot ovarian cancer? Now ovarian cancer can present late in women as the symptoms are not always obvious and most women would confuse the symptoms as simple indigestion or what we call irritable bowel syndrome. Symptoms can include feeling bloated, feeling very full early into the meal, loss of appetite, having abdominal or pelvic pain, feeling the urge to pass urine all the time or going frequently to the loo to pass urine. Also, you might have unintentional weight loss and that is weight loss without having to exercise or you're not on a dieting plan. Fatigue, feeling very tired easily. As well as you might experience a change in your bowel habits such as having diarrhea or constipation which you've never had before. And usually these symptoms can either be persistent or they might occur frequently within a 12 month period. It's also noted that if you're a woman over the age of 50 and you have symptoms which are suggestive of IBS which you've not had previously, then you should get yourself checked out because it is very unusual over the age of 50 to start having IBS. So if you saw a doctor who thought that you might have symptoms suggestive of ovarian cancer, they would usually request a specific blood test called a CA125. Now a CA125 is a glycoprotein which is found on the epithelial cells in the womb such as your fallopian tube, your endometrium and your endocervix. Now the threshold or the cutoff mark for the CA125 is 35 units per mil and its sensitivity is about 80%. So anything above the level of 35 units per mil needs to be further investigated. A rate CA125 can be a sign of ovarian cancer. So usually your doctor would request an urgent abdominal and pelvic ultrasound to check for ovarian or womb cancers. But remember, CA125 can also be raised in other conditions such as what we call endometriosis fibroids, ovarian cysts, as well as pregnancies. That's right, so CA125 can also be raised when you're pregnant. So do not assume that if you happen to do a CA125 and it's raised, that it's ovarian cancer, because there are other causes for raised CA125. And from my experience, I have found that most cases of ovarian cancer happen to correlate with levels of CA125 way into its thousands. So for example, if you have a CA125 of about 75, it's very unlikely to be ovarian cancer. Conversely, a normal CA125 does not exclude ovarian cancer. So if you have symptoms suggestive of ovarian cancer and you have a normal CA125, you should still be investigated further. Now, there was a study that looked at 50,000 women who had symptoms suggestive of ovarian cancer and they looked at those women with a raised CA125 and 10% of these women had ovarian cancer. So to summarize, if you have symptoms suggestive of ovarian cancer, such as feeling bloated, feeling full very easily, abdominal pain, changing your bowel habits, you know, changing your urinary symptoms, whether it's feeling the urge to urinate or going frequently, then you need to see your doctor. If you're a woman over the age of 50 and you have symptoms which feel like IBS, such as bloating, again, the symptoms that I've just mentioned, and you've never had these symptoms before, then you should see your doctor and request to have a CA125, which is a blood test that can detect ovarian cancer early. So I hope you found this video useful and please feel free to subscribe to my channel.